from Kathy's Jewelry and Crafts. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you like my videos. Today I'm coming on to show you um, different heat presses and when to use each one. I'm going to come down to my workstation and I'm going to start off with the Cricut Mini Press. I love this little thing. He is so cute. But what would you use it for? Um, I would use this one for like baby clothes, small vinyl projects. Um, you can use it for sublimation if you're doing small, you know, areas and not a big t-shirt or something like that. Or you could do touch up on like a t-shirt. Say you put some vinyl down and one little piece is not coming, it's coming up. And so you don't want to use the um, clamshell heat press. Um, so you just want to get that one little part. So that would be good for that. Next, we have the Cricut Easy Press. Move this out the way so you can see. I'm going to turn it on so you can see it all lit up. Okay. And this one lifts up. This is a 9x9. Nine nine. And you would use that one for um, anything that you can use your clamshell for, basically. You can use that for t-shirts, for big projects. The only downfall for this kind of heat press is that you have to apply pressure yourself. You have to be able to um, put enough pressure on there so that the vinyl will stay down. Because sometimes if you use that and you don't have something that closes like a clamshell, it is kind of um, difficult for the vinyl to stay on without doing a lot of passes. So those are two right there. Those are the two Cricut ones that I have. And now we're gonna to go to my other studio and I'll show you um, two others that I have. Okay, we're in my other studio and this is a nine by 13 heat press. And it will do everything that a larger heat press will do. It's just a little smaller and of course it's pink because I love pink. Um, but yeah, it will do it. You can do t-shirts, vinyl, sublimation, anything that, um, you know, that you would need. But because it's 9 by 13, um, it's going to take a while to do large t-shirts on here. Um, you could do pillowcases, but of course, um, if you're doing large pillowcases, then you need to do it in several passes. Next, we have my clamshell. This is a 15 by 15. This is the very first one I had. I've had and um, I've had it for about, I guess, five or six years. And I love it. It's not, you know, a name brand or anything. I think it's fancier studio, but it has worked. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, and you can do almost anything on this one. I do not have a huge one. This is the largest one that I have, but I've been able to do I think the largest t-shirts I've done or ever had a request for was 15, um, I'm sorry, 3X. And it works perfectly in one pass. So I do rhinestones and I do vinyl. And um, this one works really good. Um, but I like sometimes just to use the smaller ones because sometimes that's all you need. Okay, we're going to move over to this side. And I'm going to show you some other presses that I have. This is a tumbler press, and you would use these to do, of course, tumblers. Um, you could probably do cups with the two. I do not, because I also have a cup press. But um, these get really hot, and they go up to 400 degrees, as, uh, as all of the other presses I showed you do, too. I'm not sure about the mini press, what that goes up to, but uh, all the rest goes up to at least 400 and then here's my cup press. Um, it's full of, I haven't used this in a while since I've got the tumbler press. I use that mostly. But let's see, this is, a, here's the brand name. It's really good. I love it. It only does um, up to 11 ounce cups though. It does not do the 15 ounce or the 30 ounce cups. And I really haven't had a need for those. Most people that request a cup for me or um, or a tumbler in this case they want the 20 ounce um, 
tumblers and 11 ounce cups. So I've been good with that. And the last press that I have is a pen press. I rarely use this. Um, I haven't been able to find the right pens that work really good with this press. Let's see if I can clear some stuff out so you can see. It's a swing away and you lay your pens right there and then you can engrave them. Um, you can sublimate on them or you can um, use the laser printer and print directly on them um, from once you print it out on your laser printer. Um, but I haven't been able to find sublimatable pens. I found some laser ones, but not the sublimatable pen. So I'll keep a lookout for those. Well, that's just a few of the, um, well, that's all I think that I have of presses. And so my next video, I'll show you all the different printers that I have because I have three sublimation printers and then I have a laser printer. I no longer have an inkjet because all of my printers um, will do everything I need and I don't really need that. Actually, I've changed all of my inkjets over to sublimation, so that's why I don't have them. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this um, helps make, help you make a decision if you're you know, deciding what heat press you need for which job. Um, and um, hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.